Hello and welcome to Nazare. On that point over there, that is where the big wave comes crashing in. So hopefully over the next couple of days, we'll be able to go find that and see it firsthand and the true magnitude of it. And hopefully find, find out a little bit about this place. The town was named after Nazareth in the Holy Land and there was a statue, a wooden statue of the Virgin Mary and it was brought from the Holy Land to Spain and then onto here. And in this little grotto here where I am now is where one of the men who brought it here died but he left it in this little thing here. I don't know, you can't really see it because it's very dark but in here he left it there. And that is how this town got its name, from Nazareth. So, out in the channel by there, there's a massive canyon that brings this big swell from deep out in the Atlantic Ocean and then when it reaches the swell that is around the area, it lifts up and it doubles the amount that is there so it creates this massive swell. Currently there's not a lot here but tomorrow I think will be the day where there'll be quite a lot of swell so let's hope for that but it's still epic. This is still a massive amount of water that is getting moved around and it's just oh, it's astonishing to witness. <laughs> snack because it got uh, got a bit wet down there so I just got back to the Airbnb because it sort of rained on us a little bit so we, we made a quick dash for it so I was gonna do a quick talking headpiece on why and what how this wave has impacted the community and what I was gonna say is so the big four the lighthouse at the top in 2015, on average each year, that roughly had about 70,000 visitors each year. Compare that to 2017, when it had 174,000 vis visitors. And this, what this has done is it creates a, a pilgrimage place, much like how people went to the Holy Land to pilgrimage to get like souvenirs, to get holy water, to see the Holy Land. Now people pilgrimage here to see this big, massive wave from all over the world, fanatics to see this get spectacle. Now, <clears throat> people obviously still pilgrimage here to see all these holy sites, but not to see this big, massive wave in the flesh. And to be down on the beach earlier, it was, oh, it was incredible. You could, it wasn't even that big and you could feel it and you could hear it. And yeah, I'm very excited for tomorrow so hopefully we can see people actually surfing it. Okay, so I just checked the cam and we're gonna head up to the big wave because they look like there's some good sets rolling through. So I'm gonna go up there now and check it out and hopefully see some action. <laughs>
Okay, just got back to the Airbnb after witnessing some absolutely breathtaking surf. I can't believe what I've just witnessed. It's so hard to sum up into words or anything. I was going to do this talking headpiece over there, but it was very windy. But, oh, it was astonishing just seeing them getting towed into these huge waves. And, like, it looked really hard to get in. So it, we had to wait there a while for them to get in, but once they got in, wow, oh, absolutely spectacular. It seemed so hard like to, to ride the, the jet ski, like being towed, it was so bumpy, like it, loads of people were falling off before they even got onto the wave, but wow, that was absolutely spectacular. I'm very excited to hopefully see some more this afternoon, but now we're gonna have a spot of lunch. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, change of plan. We're gonna go back up and check it tomorrow morning. So I'll catch you in the morning when we head back up, see if we can find any more big waves. Okay, we just walked to the top of the hill because we think we've seen some surfers going in. I don't know whether there are, but I just had a little look and some jet skis going over, so we're gonna go have a look. But I forgot the tripod, so I'm gonna try to get some photos. We we're gonna go do something else, but now we've seen it, we thought, oh, let's go check it out. So yeah, let's go see if we can find any big waves. <laughs> witnessed some absolutely crazy surfing down there it was it was, oh, it was nuts it's so hard to sum up but I got a couple of videos so I hope you enjoy them and take some photos which I'll show to you now <laughs> But yeah, it was, it's incredible. This place is crazy and hopefully we're going to be here a bit longer. It's been a bit more time looking at it. But for now, this is going to be the end of that video. This video. <coughs> oh, one more thing before I go. It's just that crazy jet ski as they go in to like save each other. And it's just mad. Just like one got caught underneath a wave and the others came charging in to come and rescue them. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy and nuts. But yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it, seeing it from my perspective, my point of view, this wave, and hopefully you, you'll either come here or you'll just watch more big waves because it's epic and it's crazy. I can't believe people do it. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and until the next one, catch you later.